Hey everyone, welcome back to Cash Your Go. Today, we're gonna to be celebrating 40 subscriber milestone. Thanks for 40 subs, everyone. Yeah, thank you guys. Let's get into the StockX sneakers most popular. All right, so right off the bat, I just see a lot of Jordans. Jordan 11 Retro Low. So this is supposedly number one. Yeah, on I heard a lot of hype on this shoe, actually. We just could see, retail price is 185 last sale, 238 For the 11s, that's pretty much what they've been going for, 230 around that number. Of course, you got like the Concord on the top and that signature bread from the, the sole, the red. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm more, I like the Concords, I like the breads. I'm not sure about mixing them together. I just had to take a look at 52 week high, $550. That's insane. I mean, I don't know who would pay $550 for these shoes. That's interesting. Jordan's really been, man, just like- Jordan, like, Jordan, it's, Jordan. It's just Holy crazy. Like guacamole. three years ago, Jordan's were not nearly this big. They, they really had a comeback this year. It's amazing. They did. Let's go to number three. Oh, the tie dye. These are actually pretty sick. I think they should make a, a low in these as well. Yeah, I agree. If they make a low now during the summer, so many people will rock these. Just like our last video with the top 10 trends, how we said don't wear high top with shorts. We can't wear high tops. It doesn't look good. I I just gotta say, I've never been a fan of Jordan 6. I just don't like Jordan 6. That's a little controversial, man. It might be controversial. That's my opinion. And that's a fact too. Hold on, let's select, go to size all. I wonder what sizes people are buying. Oh, 4.5. Four and a half, $400. You know, that actually makes sense. That actually kind of proves my theory. I think many actually girls are buying this one. So they're just profiting from all these females wanting to buy these shoes and just extorting the price so high. You know what caught my eyes? Adidas. Finally, we see a pair of Adidas. Yeah. I do appreciate what Kanye's trying to do. Make different models of Yeezys. This is improvement, because we were getting sick of all the same Yeezys over and over and over. And I think this is a great step forward. If he's experimenting, I'm totally for experimenting. It's interesting to know, this is mostly just Jordans. Yeah, I gotta say, they're like, either Jordans or Yeezys. That's the most popular now. The Air Force One lows. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. you gotta give credit where credit is due. You just can't go wrong wearing it. I understand. Not you know, grabbing too much attention here. You can also customize those. It's, it's just like a, it's just a really good shoe. I, I understand. It's a classic, much. it's just like Chuck Taylor. It's just like Stan Smith. It's just a classic shoe that everyone needs in their wardrobe. What you don't need is a black Air Force. You, you know, can't trust those types of people. I actually seen lots of mids too, which is surprising. We were talking about earlier how we feel like mids need some more respect. They need some more popularity because everyone's either high or low. Where's the mid? The mid needs some loves and I'm glad we're seeing it here. Yeah, everyone needs a little balance in their life. You can't just be like, I'm just a diehard low fan. I'm just a yeah. diehard high fan. Exactly. You know, why not the in between? You gotta have balance. There, Yeah, you need balance in everything as all things should. And now we finally see the Adidas Easy, the Zebra. I actually heard they're gonna restock these. I don't think really? they have yet, yeah. Which is gonna be pretty huge. I don't know if you guys remember, two years ago, these shoes were just like... I, I remember so they were funny. selling for 2,000 plus when they first came out. Yeah, I heard they're gonna restock them. I'm not sure if that's just a rumor. I hope they do. I mean, it's a really? great shoe. I personally don't want them to restock. I like the idea of having it so limited. It's just like these colorways. I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't just re-release these old colorways. The limited edition value of it is what's so interesting why people like it it's just like inflation you put more money into the economy the, the dollar goes down put more shoes out here this shoes value goes down that's true but i'm sorry to break it to you i don't know if you heard about kanye's new deal with gap have you that's true guys you, you're breaking you some it. hard news to me right now <laughs> i don't know if you guys heard it either but kanye has announced that he is collaborating with gap and many are speculating that they're going to bring the yeezys to these regular retail markets such as gap and really bring the yeezy to just to everyone not just the hypebeast yeah just, just to bring it to the the regular market and right now yeezys are like surprising Cream, obviously, you know, the, the resale value is so high. Look at this, $460. That's just kind of crazy. But yeah, if they bring these to Gap, you're right. The price is going to drastically lower. So that's something to keep in mind, guys. If you're, a, you know, if you're like holding lots of them, if you're like a reseller, if they bring Yeezys to Gap, then you might want to sell your stock. I mean, is there any, any Adidas besides Yeezys? I haven't seen one Adidas shoe. 
That's the thing, guys. You guys saw the thumbnail. We're not beating around the bush. Is Adidas dead? You can make that decision for yourself, but all I'm really seeing is easy, easy, easy. Just jumped over Jumpman. You know what just caught my eye? Easy foam. We were just talking about this, how we want Kanye to step into the direction of experimental, and he clearly is doing this. Just like that first Yeezy we saw. You know what this reminds me of? Crocs. Crocs, yeah. yeah. These are really similar to Crocs. All that's missing is Kanye needs to release some of those little pins that you put in each of these yeah, like, the holes. little holes. Well, I gotta show you something. Retail price, $75. Four times? Three. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Highest sold. 506. So it looks like the market's really they are really loving it. Loving this. Travis Scott has just been killing it, guys, as you know, know, obviously. Especially these new ones, Air Max 270 ones, these ones right here. Speaking about Travis, I have to give a shout out to the Travis and uh, Fortnite concert. Shout out to anyone out there who witnessed that in game, you know, flying through at the end. Let us know what your favorite scene was. Mine was under the water. I've never seen these before, guys. These almost look like I actually seen some people in school. They get like the, the white and they put yeah. Sharpie. That's kind of what these look like. I just never even seen these before. I haven't really seen much Jordan Lowe's, which kind of bums me out because I'm a big Lowe fan. If you guys haven't seen our um, Jordan Wallow Paris, make sure to check that out. I actually haven't seen the Paris yet on here. That might be an issue. Paris should be on the number one list. We were talking about just right for spring. I know it's in the summer, but it still could transfer. I thought, and I still feel like, Jordan 1 Low Paris is the go-to shoe for spring and summer. And it should be at least in the number two list. Oh, I remember the reverse duck. That was hype. That was really hype. You know, they should make some apparel with that. That would be pretty sick. I actually kind of like the the red camo. It's, it's almost, you know, some people either like it or they don't like it. I and like it. He likes it. I don't really like it on the shoe. I'm not a big fan of camo on shoes, personally. Really? Yeah, I like it more like if it's on bape. apparel, like I said, like bape, yeah. But Speaking shoe, of bape, this does have the bait camo look. Possible bait collab coming soon. You know what? Like it seems like the only thing keeping Adidas afloat right now are the Yeezys. And is this proof? I've heard many people speculating in the past, Adidas dead, Adidas dead, blah, blah, blah. But this is kind of proof. I mean, these are this is what people are buying. Let's have a conversation about this. This kind of caught my eye. Ooh. Converse Run Star High. It kind of looks like a tractor. It's interesting. <laughs> It's interesting. These are like a platform shoe or something. Yeah, they definitely give you a good... How many inches is that? That's like a That's like six th inch. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no hate though. If you yeah. can pull that off, go for it, right? Hey, tag us on Instagram. If you could pull this off, we would love to see it. <laughs> These, yeah, easy slides. They're just kind of bland, you know? I I think that's the what Kanye is going for, like a minimalistic type of look. You know, his church services, his uh, apparel, yeah. the church is, is very similar to this. I'm just not a big fan. You know, I gotta say, I feel like these get very sweaty. Oh, get just, on. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> these look like they get very sweaty. There's no breathing. <laughs> Imagine the condensation right here, uh, guys. <laughs> ben and Jerry's. Look at oh, that, yeah. 1500 Were you guys lucky enough to cop these? I tried, you know, I entered it. I was not fortunate enough to cop. What a great marketing idea for Ben & Jerry's and Nike. Who would ever think in a million years an ice cream company, Ben & Jerry's, who we love and support, great ice cream, would collab with Nike? That's it's such, amazing. It's just a strange concept. What's the next collab? My question though, is that real cowhide on there though? My question is, is where is the Hagen Dazs and Nike collab? No, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> nah. on the Hagen Dazs. Ben right. and Jerry's. Shout out to all my Hagen Dazs homies out there. Giving some advice, what I think Adidas needs to do. They need to do more collabs. That's what they need to do. We just saw the Ben and Jerry collab. That was, you know, huge publicity for Nike, huge publicity for Ben and Jerry's. If Adidas did some more like collabs like that, yeah. they did do that Craig Green collab. Craig Green's pretty cool designer. If you guys haven't heard about yeah. him, check him out. If you want vest and money and make money in the long term when it comes to fashion, Craig Green's patchwork and it's such a nice lace? material. No, it's not lace. It's just such a nice material and it's he has like different materials like puffy and nice fabrics. Still no Adidas. See Nike Sake. Nike is on it with the collabs this yeah, entire true. year. Adidas <gasps> Ultra Adidas, The Ultra Boost 1.0 Core White. Probably the most successful successful Ultra Boost ever created. Finally, and how, what page are we on? I think this is the fifth page. Yeah, yep, fifth the fifth page. page. Pharrell. Oh yeah, we we, uh, we missed this one. Actually. We missed this one. So but it's still. actually the fourth page. In terms of shoes, guys, we're not talking about like, you know, apparel, everything yeah. else. In terms of their footwear. Apparel, they're doing pretty well. They did a 424 collab. 
the 1.0s are still in favor over the 4.0s actually. And they're around the same price too. So it's interesting. People like the older technology more. I yeah. don't understand that. In my opinion, the 4.0s look cleaner. Um, seen some pretty nice shoes, learned a couple of things. Jordans, that is what you want to get if you want to be trendy. Peace everyone. All right guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.